Hello there folks, how you doing? Hebrides in winter, I'm on the north end of North Uist Came up the road yesterday Had a night in the van last night, camping in the snow Van was lovely and warm Easy night Sailed over this morning and I'm going to be in the Outer Hebrides for, aye, for at least the next week, maybe 10 days but I'm not sure how much outdoor filming I'll be able to get done. I'm here to help my brother on the croft. There's a bit of work to be done, so I'm going to be quite busy, but hopefully we'll be able to have a day off or maybe a couple of days off and take the camera out and about and do a wee bit of filming. So I'm hoping that there might be a video or two in this trip for you. So stay, stay tuned, folks, and hopefully there'll be some winter views of the Outer Hebrides. Anyhow, for the time being, I've got to get down the road, get my work gear on, give my brother a bit of a hand. Let's go. You're wondering about me digging up the macker, folks. We've got some dead sheep to deal with. So we're just burying them in the sand here. One of the inevitable consequences of crofting, you have to deal with dead animals from time to time. So. It's almost dark, folks. It's been a busy day. Got an interesting day, though. We broke camp this morning on Sky, then sailed across the Minch to North Uist, and then a nice drive down through North Uist across Benbecula here to South Uist, and then a little bit of work on the croft with my brother. Sadly, it was burying animals, but there you go. Still got more work to do, but I thought I would just check in with you before we lose the light short days especially this far north a lovely soft evening light and that's a, a nice view of uh, Eoval across my shoulder there and then I'm looking down that way and I can see Ben Moore and Hecla if you haven't checked out the Hecla video from earlier in the year have a look at that that was a great trip so I'm not sure how much of this um, footage I'm going to Put into one of the videos. I'm hoping that uh, during this work visit to help my brother out that I'll be able to get out and about and do some outdoor filming, some of the stuff that the channel is actually about. I don't want uh, this kind of footage to dominate but I thought you might be interested in seeing a wee bit of what I'm up to here and some of the reasons why I'm on the island at this time of the year. I don't know if you can hear that over, over my shoulder there, just across this way here. We've got big Atlantic breakers rolling in 
and just the sound of the sea in the distance is absolutely glorious, love it. Blithering on again folks, I need to get back to work, so hopefully I'll get back to you in the not too distant future with a wee bit of outdoor activity, a wee bit of outdoor fun, a wee adventure. So for now folks, stay safe, we'll see you again soon. Well, that looks truly wonderful. It's been a long, hard day, folks. I'm looking forward to this. Got a beautiful dish of chicken curry to enjoy with some roast vegetables on the side. So we're tucked up in the van. <laughs> we're, we're going to be warm and cosy. I've got the door open because I've got the camera set up just outside the van, but in a few minutes we'll get the door closed and we'll get the heating on and sit here Relax, enjoy this beautiful meal, and I'll get back to you later. How are you doing there, folks? <laughs> I'm fiddling away with this tyre. If you watched the um, last video, the video entitled Alone in the Hills, you'll see that I had bike trouble when I was away culminated in a puncture. 